video I will install Kelly Linux in VirtualBox. I have already Windows 11 installed in my computer and I will also install Kelly Linux using VirtualBox so I can use both operating systems in the same time. Is a operating system or a Linux distribution that you can use for penetration, testing, for a security system, for hacking, for ethical hacking and networking and a lot of more things. And a lot of you guys are interested on how to install it in the same time using Windows and both operating systems at the same time and to do that we use virtual box or virt virtual machines so let's get started with this video so let's go here I'm in a computer and I'll go to Google to download the ISO first so ISO is a file where you can uninstall everything from it so I'll search on Google uh, Kali uh, download and here in the first link get Kali click on here and here is the official website and go ahead and click on installer images so you can install for a lot of more options here like for RAM uh, processors for mobile on the cloud or containers so I'll click installer images so click on installer images and here we have uh, different options for 64-bit uh, or 32-bit so if you have a fast computer or 64-bit computer you can go with it with this option but if you have a 32-bit or a slower computer you can go ahead with 32-bit but for now I'll install the 64-bit so we have different options here like installer weekly everything or net installer installer is the basic one weekly is with the latest updates that are not tested yet everything it includes a lot of things uh, in, inside so a lot of programs a lot of softwares inside that installation and that installer is very uh, light installation which it uses network during the installation to download the files but I will go with the with the normal one installer 64 bit you can click on this one that which is recommended and as soon as you click on it it will download the ISO file here as you can see below but I have already downloaded it before and, I, and I'll do it right now so I'll cancel it but you guys have to download this file and here I have moved this file in my desktop here it is so now make sure to download and install VirtualBox if you haven't downloaded it yet so VirtualBox download and here you can download from Google and also make sure to have the latest update because the VirtualBox is updated to the latest version recently so you can go ahead with Windows host and click on Windows host if you have Windows computer and this will download it then just click on exe file and go ahead with uh, installation steps so I have also downloaded and installed so I'll go ahead and open VirtualBox right now and here it is it is the latest update of the VirtualBox and now what you have to do is is just to click on new then type a name whatever you want I'll uh, name this virtual machine just uh, Kali and then you have to go to, uh, you can choose the folder where you want to install it but I will leave as default in VMs on the user uh, folder so uh, then you have to choose the ISO uh, image or the file click on others then go to desktop where I have my ISO file select it and open it then uh, you can go ahead and click next here you have to choose the base memory and the processors so the base memory is the how RAM you want to give this to 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 the machine and I'll choose uh, about 10 gigabytes of RAM because I have 16 already on my base computer also go to processors and choose how many processors you want uh, as many processors you choose the faster it will be so uh, for now leave five processors because I have already two at 12 then click on next then here, here you can choose the, the storage you want to use for this machine 25 gigabytes is normal and it works perfect so I'll leave it as default and then click on finish and now uh, you don't have actually to do anything else so you, what you have to do is just to start start the machine now and click on start and this will power up the machine and start the boot of the installation of the Kali Linux in your computer or in uh, the virtual machine and also I wanted to mention that when installing something on VirtualBox it does not impact your base operating system like the Windows it doesn't make any changes to the Windows it does not delete anything because I see a lot of people ask if uh, if I install Kali here it will impact my computer my Windows or if uh, damage anything on my base computer no it doesn't do anything on your base operating system so go ahead with that installation and here is the setup uh, that you have to choose here you can use your arrow keys to move uh, through the installation steps and here is the graphical install is the installation where you choose the, with the buttons what you want to use what language what uh, options and everything are here installation install will install it like uh, more like a professional uh, 
coder or a, a developer. So, but we'll go with graphical install, click on enter on graphical install and this will uh, boot. Okay, now the uh, setup started and here you have to choose the language, English, continue, United States, continue, here the keyboard, American English, continue, and here we'll detect and mount installation medias. Okay, now you have to choose a name for your host name, so I'll leave it as default, which is Kelly, and click on continue. The main name, you can leave it empty and click on continue. Then here, you have to put your full name, so I'll just type my name and continue. Here, you can choose the username that you want to use, I'll still use my name, continue. Here, put a password two times, repeat, continue, and here is the clock, continue again. Here you have to choose guided use entire disk, continue and click on and choose this disk which is the default virtual box disk that we created, continue, all files in one partition, continue, then uh, finish uh, and write changes, click on yes, continue and here we'll install uh, and start the installation of the Kali Linux. Now it is asking you if you want to install more. Uh, softwares in this in this installation but you can choose how many you want i'll leave these selected that by default and click on continue okay now after the installation it will ask you if you want to install a g rob bootloader and you have to click on yes and continue and you have to choose this second option this hard disk the virtual box hard disk then click on continue now the installation is finished and you have to click on continue and this will reboot the virtual machine and start the Kali Linux into your computer. So now uh, you have to choose with your arrow keys here Kali uh, Linux, the first option, press enter and this will start the operating system or the distribution of Linux here on your computer. Here it will ask you for the username and password. So username is your name that we chose before and here your password is a password that you uh, you put during the installation so put your password login and this will start the linux into your computer so uh, now everything works fine is very smooth and if even if you make this bigger or full screen if you go to view uh, full screen mode switch this will still uh, look uh, uh, good because some of the installation that we do on the virtual box uh, you have to install some more things that you have to fix for to fix the graphics and look good but here on Kali Linux it looks good by default so here we have the files and everything also if you go here on the menu on the applications we have a lot of different applications for for databases password attacks wireless attacks a lot of more softwares that you can use here and you can open terminal and everything looks good so you can use Kali Linux for anything you want for ethical hacking to learn and do a lot of more things and here is also how you can do it into your uh, into your Windows computer so how to install it into your Windows computer if you want to go uh, out of the full screen you just go here below and uh, exit the full screen and as you can see we have Kali Linux and also Windows into the same time so here you go guys here is how to install kali linux the latest version 2023 into your windows 11 computer using virtualbox hopefully you like this video make sure to like subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos peace